Hi, Elisa here. I am about to do my review on my second Stitch Fix. So this is my second box. I'm super excited. Um, and uh, let's just go right into it. If you don't know what Stitch Fix is, it's basically um, a clothing subscription. They send you um, five pieces of clothing uh, based on a sur survey that you fill out online. And um, you get to choose what you want to keep. So it's $20 every time they send you a box and then um, depending on what you like on there the twenty dollars goes towards anything that you keep anything that you don't keep you send back you have three business days to send it back so they send you um, this little uh, package to send it back it's all paid for and everything like that and then um, you know it's it's nice because it's it's kind of they pick things for you that you wouldn't normally pick for yourself so I'm just gonna jump into it I did receive my box about three days ago and um, I I already looked because I, I wanted to wait and I wanted to do it surprisingly on uh, on YouTube but I was just too excited so um, <clears throat> here is my letter send me a little letter I got Michelle as my stylist um, she says happy fix day the key to looking cute or pulled together is layering and accessorizing so um, attached with my little letter she writes me a long letter and you know we're like BFFs now I don't know just kidding. I forgot who my last stylist was, but um, it's a little style card showing me how to um, how to style the outfits. The nice thing about it is that the two items that I did keep last time were a, a blazer and a pair of skinny jeans, and she matched me up with some items that I could pair with my items that I got last time. So that's really cool. So let's start. So we got this 41 Hawthorne blouse it's called filbert arrow print henley blouse so this is exactly like the one i got last time but it was all black the same detail in the arm um it's it's the exact same shirt funny thing about this is that i saw my friend who just got stitch fix wearing it she kept this item and when i saw it on her i was like oh i would i would have kept that one too um and they sent it to me so nicole that was we'll be twinsies next time <laughs> So I like that one. Um, here is a green, it's Brixton Ivy Sylvester Split Neck Blouse. So I told her, I, I, I talked to my stylist and tell them that I want comfy clothes because I have a one year old and um, I want to be able to look cute but still, you know, still stylish. So there's some nice detail on the sleeve. We will try these on later. It looks really big. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like on. All right, and then we have this, uh, this is called a Bricks and Ivy Coney Lace Back Yoke Blouse. So another blouse, um, but it does have lace on the back, so there's a little V, v neck uh, detail right there in the back, so that could be cute, just you could dress that up or casual, which I love. Cool. And then um, I did tell my stylist to surprise me, but I do love stripes. So um, I got a dress here. It's about knee length. It's got a little cinch right here on the side. Zipper in the back. And this is called a Market and Spruce Carl dress in navy. Oh, it looked black. So navy stripes. Um, I love stripes and I love dark stripes so we'll see how that looks on me I wasn't too impressed with the last dress if you saw that one um, and then uh, I did also if you watch my last uh, stitch fix I, I uh, my last revealing I told them that I had like a, a long they sent me a long gold Romolo necklace um, but for the price it just wasn't wasn't something that I keep and I did specify that I have lots of jewelry and I love jewelry but if you're gonna send me something for that amount which was I think it was only like $28 it better be like a statement piece so they sent me a statement piece so they listen to what I said awesome so my um, my card says that having that go-to necklace which is this blazer or cardigan that you can throw on and know it will polish off any look so start it off your fix with the great dress by market and spruce hopefully it will fill your love of stripes and make you feel good layer on the blazer for my last fix um, or a denim jacket 
add wedges and the coral necklace for a pop of color and an easy everyday look. So that's pretty cool how they show you different ways to, uh, to wear it. Awesome. So uh, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. That's what I got. Um, now I'm just going to try everything on and see what I want to keep. And then I'll share the prices with you later. All right. I'll be back. All right, so here I have on the 41 Hawthorne Filbert Arrow Print Henley blouse. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it is a little see-through. Not wearing tank top underneath, so I'll have to wear a tank top underneath that. Just pairing everything with a pair of jeans today because I'm a jeans and cute top kind of girl. You see the detail on the back here. I got just a pair of flats on. And yeah, it's pretty cute. It's comfortable. Um, that's about it. I don't know. Not much to say about it, but I, I like it. I like the print, so we'll see what's next. Okay, now I have on the green Brixton Ivy Sylvester Split Neck Blouse. I really love this color. It's perfect for spring. Um, I like the detail on the arms. It is a little see-through, so I'd probably... Wear like a flesh colored bra underneath or, um, or a tank top. The only thing that I don't like about this one is that it's, it reminds me of maternity shirts that I used to wear when I was pregnant. Um, from the side, it just kind of, it's not very flattering towards my body. So it's the only thing that would kind of derail me from getting this one. But it's cute um, with jeans, with a skirt. I feel like I could dress this one up really nice. Um, but yeah. Okay, so here I have on the black bricks and ivy Coney lace back yoke blouse. Um, again, with the maternity clothes. I feel like this is a maternity shirt. It's very wide, very wide, very baggy. I almost feel like I'm like wearing an apron or something. Like I'm going to work and I'm wearing like a, like a uniform. I have really long hair, so this does not work. The lace um, on the back, you we wouldn't be able to see it. Like I look like I'm wearing like a almost like a scrub top, and just this is too wide for me. I think I'm, I either want it to cover my shoulders or I want it to be thin. Um, so I don't I don't particularly like this one. It's just. Maybe I can save it for when I get pregnant again. I don't know. And then I can be kind of cute. So, yeah, it's just it's just not good for me. I mean, it's a cute top, but just not for me. So, next. All right, now I have two items. I have the Romolo Parkside Stone Bobble Necklace and the Market and Spruce Carl Dress. So, I love this. My love for stripes is definitely um, coming out in this dress. The necklace goes perfect with it. Um, I don't have any wedges. I know, it's kind of weird. But my husband doesn't like wedges, so I got rid of a lot of them. But I did pair it with just a new pair of pumps, and it looks great. Um, she also does say to pair it with the blazer that I got from the last fix, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. All right, so here is the blazer that I got for my last fix, which I ab absolutely love. Um, this turns it into, looks like a little bit more uh, business casual. Like if I was going to a meeting somewhere, I could wear this. I'm a fitness instructor, so I do not go to my meetings looking like this, but if I have meetings in the office world, this is what I would be wearing. Um, and then, yeah, makes it a little bit more, um, just a little bit more professional. That's it. Those are all the items. Let's see how much everything costs. All right. So along with my items comes an invoice that says how much everything costs. So um, first off, they start off with the Romolo necklace, um, $34, which I actually really love this necklace. So $34 for a, a piece that I would wear and that I would get lots of compliments on is worth it. So... We'll see. Um, next up is the Bricks and Ivy Sylvester Split neck blouse, the green one. This one, the one that I said could possibly be, I could possibly be mistaken for a pregnant lady. Um, that one is $54. So, 
Mm, we'll see. We'll see at the end. $54. Um, the 41 Hawthorne uh, Arrow Print Henley blouse. That's this one. That one is $58, which I'm glad I didn't get the black one last time because I love this one way more than the black one for my last fix. Um, next up is the Coney Lace Back Yoke Blouse. Also the blouse that I said makes me look pregnant. Um, that one is $54. I definitely wouldn't pay $54 for this. Um, yeah, no. No. Uh, and then we have the dress, <clears throat> which I'm wearing right now. And it is $58. Which, if you saw my review from the last uh, fix, I got a dress that I that I couldn't even zip up and it was $138. So way, and I went online and I changed the pricing of, so you can select which, uh, you know, your price range and I, I minimized the pricing. So uh, $58 for a dress is totally doable and I love this one. I could wear it in so many different ways. Um, so that is, so that's that. So all together, the items come out to $258. But if you purchase all five, you get a 20% discount. So that would take $64.50 off, um, which, and then you have the $20 that you already paid when they ship the box to you. That one you don't get back. So $20 goes towards anything that I purchase in this box. Um, so minus $64.50, minus the $20, and then it says I have a styling free fee credit for $5, which I think is wrong. Because they sent me an email a couple weeks ago telling me that somebody used my referral credit. So somebody go, uses my link and when they sign up for Stitch Fix and their box gets sent out, I get um, a $25 credit. But here it's showing $5. So I don't know what happened to the other 20. I emailed them and hopefully I'm going to get a response soon because I want that extra $20. So, um, but minus my $5 styling credit, that would take my all my items to one sixty eight fifty for all five items, um, and to me for all five of those items is really good. However, there's two of them that I don't really love. So that's how that works. Um, I'll take pictures. You can follow me on Instagram and see which ones the items I keep. I can tell you I'm keeping the necklace and I'm keeping the dress. So that's how Stitch Fix works. Um, if you are interested in it, there's no, uh, you don't have to do like a contract or anything like that. You can cancel whenever you want. Um, I did set up for two, two consecutive months. I think I'm going to pass on next month and then I will do it for April because uh, it's my birthday. And um, my husband's like, ah, Stitch Fix and your mom. Valentine's Day, his birthday's coming up. so. I'll set it up for April and then um, I will see you on my next review. If you are interested in, uh, in trying it, use my link below and that's it. Let me know how it goes. Tag me in your video or, or your posts and whatever you do. All right. Bye. Till next time.